ಪಶ್ಚಾತ್ಯ ದೇಶ ಪ್ರಾರಂಭ ಜಯ ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ದ್ವೈತ ಗದಾದರ್ಶಿವ ಸತಿ ಗೌರ ಭಕ್ತ ವೃಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಮುಖಂ ಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲಂ ಪಂಗಂ ಲಂಗಾಯತೆ ಕೃಮಿ ಕೃಪಾತ ಹೋಮಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರು ಹೋಮಿನ ತಾರಣ ಪರಮಾನಂದ ಮಾಧವ ಶ್ರೀ ಚದನೇಶ್ವರ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ನೀವು ಒನ್ ಮಿನಿಟ್ ಐ ನೀಡ್ ಟು ಸೆಂಡ್ ಮೆಸೇಜ್ ಟು ಸಂಬಡಿ so uh, thank you very much for joining um we came to know last week um we discussed last two weeks technically with uh, you know scientific explanation we saw there is a super power you know some people you know uh, we'll see whether it is you know what is that um i mean how there is a, a master mind behind this super universe we saw creation implies a creator energy is there energy implies energetic you know laws are there means a law maker is there you know so like somebody is more intelligent than me you are more intelligent than that person so like as if you go somebody is the most intelligent or if you you know what is that uh, mathematical induction if you see if it is true for one if it is true for two if it is true for three if it is true for if it is true for n it is true for everything so then like that um somebody is a uh, uh, 1% uh, intelligent somebody is 10% intelligent there is one person who is 100% intelligent or unlimited intelligence then how do we find about that law maker is there how do you find out the law maker how do you find out the have to find out about this uh, what do you call it? um that master mind the supreme mind behind this universe then the question is then the question is uh, um today we will discuss what how do we uh, find out about that master mind about that supreme person you know that supreme mind um so what do we will do six six blind men and one wise man story basically this session is how do if you want to acquire knowledge okay we understood we have seen uh, there is microcosmic or macrocosmic principles there is a mastermind how do you acquire knowledge about how do you know about uh, that supreme mind that person the supreme person i have a question for all of you this is a little interactive if you want to gain knowledge about something or someone what will you do we will go to the source of the knowledge what is that like if i if i want to let us say know about physics i will take a physics book or go to a physics teacher perfect if you want to know about uh, uh, some lesson in physics you will go to the teacher who knows it or a book fantastic thank you bro thank you all bro amazing anybody if you want to acquire knowledge about something what you will do your answer is perfect but there are many more other ways also yeah yeah someone who has already experienced a not even teacher like a student who has already has that knowledge 
Exactly. But what are the different ways? Let us give chance to other people. If you want to acquire knowledge about anything, what you will do? How will you acquire? Well, we'll meet uh, like-minded people. Along with them, we both. I mean, like together, we start in learning about it. Okay, you learn about it. Other ways. Yeah. You know? Okay, you learn from. I mean, that's what Rahul Rose said. From an experienced person who has, you know, who has gained the knowledge and the teacher, or the book, fantastic. Any other ways? Any other ways? There are few more ways. Rahul Rose said one. You know, Rahul Ji definitely. One or the other. Study. Study of what? Study of books. That's that what are that's about. Okay, yes. Rahul Rose said study of books. Fine. You know, any other ways? I'm just curious. You know, if you want to know about anything, what you will do? You want to acquire knowledge about anything. Okay, you want to acquire about knowledge about car. You want to acquire knowledge about to someone. Somebody came and gave you rasgulla, gulab jamun. What will you do? You know, you want to know about gulab jamun. Somebody say, you know, it is sweet. What you will do? Eat it first. First, you need to eat it. That is experience it. Experience. It's called you have a direct experience. You know, pratyaksha experience with your senses. Right? Thank you. Nice point. Anybody else? What are the different ways you gain knowledge? I'm waiting for one. One, you know. I'm sure definitely will tell that. You want to know about something? What are the different ways? We ask people. You ask people. Fantastic. You know, teacher. That's what he said. <laughs> okay. I will not. I will not waste time. Google it. <laughs> you know. Will you Google it or not? Google. Google. Yeah, we Google it. Yes. Google it. So usually people will say because everything is Google nowadays. Yeah. Because Google also has experience, right? You know, but it will come down to. <sighs> come down to uh, it'll come down to somebody who has got the knowledge you know you're going to a teacher or a book as rahul bros rahul ji nicely put it or you know somebody said eat it that is direct you won't have a direct experience it's like for example australia is not there you say i don't believe in australia just go take a flight and go to australia that's it you know i never thought gandhi ji existed okay go to rajgarh And there is a Rajgarh Samadhi by Gaffar Gandhi by government. Okay, so pratyaksha, direct sense perception. So today, today, what we'll do uh, to acquire knowledge about that supreme mind, we will go, uh, we'll pursue how to acquire knowledge about him. But before that, we want to, especially spirituality. Why there is a lot of confusion because of this. six blind man and one wise man story one day one big animal came to zoo and six blind men were taken to the zoo uh and uh, they told him to see that animal so one blind man touched the the trunk and he said wow this animal is like a snake another man touched the tail and he said wow this animal is like a rope one person touched the ears and he said this animal is like an axe another person touched the belly and said this animal is like a ball one person touched the tusks and said this animal is like an arrow another person touched the pillars and he said oh, sorry yeah the legs and he said uh the legs this animal is like a tree i have a question for all of you and they started arguing you know this this animal so the after they they saw the animal and then i mean they of course they were blind so they experienced the animal then they came back and one guy said how is the animal no it's like an arrow hey no definitely not it's like a axe no 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 it's like a rope no no it's like a pillar it's like a tree it's like a snake then they start arguing 
I have a question for all of you. Are they right or not? According to their own understanding, they are right. Right. But in the full understanding, they are right or not? No, no they were full. not. Uh, no. So they are partially right. They are right in their own way. But in full picture, they are not right. But there is, a, there is a partial truth in it, right? So one person said, no, 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 this is like an arrow, like, kya bol rahe ho? This is like actually, nee, 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 me, you know, wo galat hai. This is like a pillar for sure. You know? So, why I am telling this is, that is, this is a, one wise man who is not blind, he came and said, guys, you're all right in your own way, partially. It is elephant. The trunk is like a, the trunk is like a, no, no, one guy touched the trunk and he felt like snake. Another guy touched the tusks and he felt like an arrow. Another guy touched the ears, he felt like an axe. So likewise, but uh, it is like that everywhere. <clears throat> in different areas, it's like that. In spirituality, there is a lot of confusion because uh, you are trying to know that infinite intelligence, that mastermind, that mind owner, lawmaker, and elephant, you are able to understand the example because elephant is big and they are blind. But when we are dealing with infinite, you are touching only one portion. No, God cannot be this. God can be only this. No, 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 God cannot be this. No, 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 God can be this only. But a person who has seen it, who is not blind, he'll say, hey guys, you're all, uh, you're all, you know, your theories are all inclusive. You know, it is inclusive, that, you know, it has this principle of inclusivity. You know, so you need one person who has seen it. You're understanding? We keep that mind, this point in the mind because it, it helps like anything. So why there is so much confusion in, uh, in uh, spirituality? There are like, you know, if you go to India, limited. You know, so one person worships the tree, one person are, you know, you go to the West, you know, in the Christianity also, there are so many divisions of Christianity, Mormons and, you know, what is that? Uh, that one, this one, Islam also, she has in Sunni, in, in Hinduism, if you go, Buddhism, if you, you know, Hinduism unlimited, in Buddhism also, there are, you know, different sects. Why? We are all touching the different parts of the, that uh, elephant, like, you know, enormous, enormous, uh, quote-unquote mastermind, the supreme person, and we are unable to come to we are unable to come to conclusion. So how do we? That's why that will take us. That will take us to the next point. How do we gain perfect knowledge about that supreme, absolute truth? So you want to gain knowledge about anything? Pratyaksha praman, direct sense perception, anuman praman. Research. You all forgot to tell one word. Research. Shabda. Scripture. Shastra. What is Pratyaksha mean? Direct sense perception. You want to know the existence. You want to believe in the existence of Gulab Jamun. And you want to establish the characteristics of Gulab Jamun. Simple. Said that. Kaminiji or Tanviji, they said, put it in the mouth. Eat it. You don't need to do research on that. And how is it? Mm, give me one word, then I'll tell. <laughs> so he'll take one more. Hey, what is it? What is that? What is the taste of gulab jamun? Give me one more. Three, four later. Mm, I think it is sweet. Pratyaksham is a direct sense of perception. You know, Anuman means research. Shabda means scripture, Shastra. 
ಕರೆಕ್ಟಾಗಿ ಫಿಟ್ ಇದು ಏನೋ ಒಂಥರ ಸೈಡ್ ವೈಸ್ ಈಗ ಡಿಫರೆಂಟ್ ಆಗಿ ಹೆಚ್ಚುತ್ತೆ ಯು ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಎಕ್ವೈರ್ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಎನಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಚಂದ್ರ ಬ್ಲೂ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಮ್ಯೂಟ್ ಯು ವಾಂಟ್ ಎಕ್ವೈರ್ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಎನಿಥಿಂಗ್ ತ್ರೀ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರತ್ಯಕ್ಷ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಪರ್ಸೆಪ್ಷನ್ ಸಮಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಸೇ ಕೆನ್ ಯು ಶೋ ಮಿ ಗಾಡ್ ಸೋ ಐ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ ಸೆಡ್ ಡು ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಐಸ್ ಟು ಸೀ ಗಾಡ್ ಯು ನೋ ಸೋ ವಿಲ್ ಕಮ್ ಟು ದಟ್ ಯು ನೋ ಸೋ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ದ ತ್ರೀ ವೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಕ್ವೈರಿಂಗ್ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ಪ್ರತ್ಯಕ್ಷ ಅನುಮಾನ ಶಬ್ದ ಯು ನೋ ದ ದ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ದಟ್ ಯು ಎಕ್ವೈರ್ ಬೈ ಸೀಯಿಂಗ್ ಬೈ ಎಂಗೇಜಿಂಗ್ ಯುವರ್ ಸೆನ್ಸಸ್ ಬೈ ಯು ನೋ ಸ್ಮೆಲ್ಲಿಂಗ್ ಬೈ ಟೇಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ರೈಟ್ ದ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ಯು ಎಕ್ವೈರ್ ಥ್ರೂ ಪ್ರತ್ಯಕ್ಷ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಪರ್ಸೆಪ್ಷನ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಪರ್ಸೆಪ್ಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ರೈಟ್ ಐ ಪ್ರೂವ್ ಯು ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಲಿಮಿಟೇಷನ್ ಇನ್ ಅವರ್ ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಎಕ್ಸಾಕ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ देयर ಆರ್ ಲೈಟ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ देयर ಆರ್ ವೇರಿಯಸ್ ವೇವ್ ಲೆಂತ್ ಬಟ್ ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ ಐ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸೀ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ವೇವ್ ಲೆಂತ್ ಸಿಮಿಲರ್ಲಿ ಸೌಂಡ್ ವೇವ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಬ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ ಆರ್ ಸೆನ್ಸಿಬಲ್ ಡಾಗ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಸೆನ್ಸಿಬಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ಮೋರ್ ಸೆನ್ಸರಿಟಿ ಸೋ देयर ಇಸ್ ಅ ಇನರೆಂಟ್ ಲಿಮಿಟೇಷನ್ ಇನ್ ಅವರ್ ಸೆನ್ಸಸ್ ಲಾಹುಲ್ ಪ್ರಭು ಯು ಆರ್ ಸ್ಪೀಕಿಂಗ್ ವಾಟ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಸ್ಪೀಕ್ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಯು ಶುಡ್ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂ ಎಕ್ಸಾಕ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಯು ಆರ್ ರೈಟ್ ಐ ಅಪ್ರಿಷಿಯೇಟ್ ಯು ಆರ್ 100% ರೈಟ್ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಶೋ ಯು ಟುಡೇ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು so for example you see the train tracks with our own eyes if you see the train tracks it is appearing that converging but they are not so as rahul from said we have limitations for our eyes and as you know thank you bro I'm very happy to hear what you said because of that the knowledge we acquire through senses is not always right i'll give you some more example if you take a pencil and put it in the water it appears it is bent you call it a refraction but end of the day what is it your eyes you know your eyes are cheating you right and on a sunny day when you drive on the road you see water on the road science calls it a mirage total internal reflection but what is that your eyes are cheating you you understanding and uh, if you see your face in a concave mirror or convex mirror you know in one where one place your body appears you know your face is shrunk in another place your face is elongated ooh will you feel bad or no no the mirror is not good. we cannot acquire complete knowledge using our senses middle senses like eyes and ears right you know uh, okay we'll finish it then i'll give i'll give you an example four defects the information and theories in science are always changed updated and modified due to human being possessing humans possessing four defects as rahul ji rightly put it you know what is that uh, science it keeps on changing why because we put so much faith in our on our senses eyes ears nose right so what is that if atom rutherford model rutherford said atom is like a you know watermelon in that the elect- the the, um, the electrons are like uh, tiny the seeds you know so what is it atomic theory then is that you know uh, another person schrodinger no no it is a wave theory he proposed you know so <clears throat> um sorry rutherford proposed one thing dalton proposed another thing and uh, you know so different theories they were all proved wrong actually later so because uh, we we are putting so much faith on our eyes 
and uh, the scientists when they're coming and they're postulating uh, because no one knows what it is you agree, agree 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 then higher theory comes this is gone and that's agree agree then a higher theory comes uh, disproving the previous one agree 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 trust me if you if you disprove an existing theory for which nobel prize is no you know for which that scientist got the nobel prize you will get the nobel prize then few years later few years later if somebody disproves your theory and their they, their theory comes to accept, acceptance they'll get the nobel prize this is all because research is based on our senses we have four defects and rahul ji rahul rahul bro rightly put it our senses are imperfect we have four defects what is that first one imperfect senses you know from ultraviolet rays to infrared sometimes people say can you show me god but do you have eyes to see god first of all we cannot i proper say so i proper said we cannot see so many material things forget about uh, uh, seeing the supreme spirit we cannot see so many material things with our eyes as rahul bro said it we can in the you know ultraviolet to infrared we can see only this much you know i don't know whether you can uh, so if you see my arrow mark only that much so 10 power minus 12 uh, meters the cosmic ray is to if you go go for 10 power uh 10 power 10 minus 10 power 12 to so 10 power minus 12 to 10 power plus 12 you can see only little very little with gr violet blue blue you know indigo that only you can see with gr you cannot see ultraviolet rays you cannot see and for rays you rays you cannot see the gamma rays you cannot see any so what is the proof and you know as rahul bro said dog you know 20 20 hedges to 20000 hedges sound only we can hear dogs can hear better bats can see better than us <laughs> our senses are imperfect and because of that imperfect senses we tend to become illusioned we tend to become illusioned can you see this picture you know as the bottle is about to come out but it's a painting it's a 3d painting wow and i have actually pictures for uh, illusion you know because of uh, because of uh, our imperfect senses we tend to become a uh, illusion because our imperfect senses uh, sun appears like a tiny disk sun and moon right but they are not tiny disks so we become illusioned and because of that we have a tendency to commit mistakes what do we do we commit mistakes so one day a few boys they were seeing this uh, wires going on the top they said uh, no one boy said what this wire this wire is going to my home and it is lighting the whole whole home it's a power another boy said no i don't see anything no it gave a shock no it's i never saw any shock from there this boy went and climbed the tent got the shock it fell down dead so we have tendency to commit mistakes and on the top of it uh, we have a cheating propensity all the humans have cheating propensity we try to impress on others more than what we are so human beings have this four defects so let us analyze it you know so i i told you before right from 400 to 700 milli microns we can see only this much our eyes are blind outside the range of 400 to 700 millimicrons you can only see that much 
you know shorter wavelengths and longer wavelengths we cannot see we can see only the gr are you listening no yes prabhu yes good yes yes ji yes prabhu ji and uh, i know as rahul gandhi said we can hear only 20 to 20 20000 hedges but dog you know actually you know for sure india sometimes in the night 11 o'clock dogs bom 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 they're barking like anything you come out you don't see anything or you don't know what the why dog is dog is barking you say sleep 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 the dog keeps on barking what is dog seeing you know suddenly dog will get up and they go anyone has experience you know what are i said yes so yes. thank you they they have been, actually all the animals one day before earthquake comes they can detect it couple of hours before earthquake comes all the dogs start barking and they can feel that tremors even mild tremors you know our ears are deaf outside the range of 20 to 20000 hertz but if you see elephants they can hear better sounds than us same thing with cats and dogs bats and dolphins even further wow amazing even if technology has developed a lot since scientists senses have limitations they try to use instruments to get more knowledge of the world but one famous scientist nobel prize winning physicist eugen wigner points out even if we photograph stars eventually we have to take into we have to take in by our senses what photo shows furthermore without our senses we cannot handle camera even if we amplified refined by instruments the knowledge is no more perfect than our imperfect senses this is nobel prize winner this uh, scientist is telling and of the day what are the data you gathered with the uh, telescopes and all uh, has to be in the, has to be analyzed by our senses only again our brain only so that's why that's why today you know uh, we put so much faith on science how many of you agree you know why books are continuously changing why you know it's because uh, because uh, the theories new and newer theories are coming because of our imperfect senses section because of our imperfect senses we tend to become illusioned you know if if you eat gulab jamun and they give you sweet orange you say ah this is sour right but if you eat orange after lemon you say same oh very sweet no you like for example your child comes dad you know i have fever now you just finished cooking and came and touched your son's hand hey you look all okay because your body is hot no you don't have temperature but you went outside temperature is in is it's cold you came you came went you were in the you were in the cold for you know couple of minutes then you came inside you catch hold of the your son's hand Hey, you got a, you got your hand is hot fever or what water touched with cold hands appears warm water touched with warm hands appears cool excuse me interesting now i'll show you some pictures you know each picture has two ways to see depending on what you choose 
Use your creativity and identify the two pictures. Pursuing each of the two different ways of pursuing each of the pictures. Okay, I have a question for all of you. Whom are you seeing? One by one, please tell me. Whom are you seeing? A lady. I'm a young lady or old lady? It's a young lady. Who said that? Kamini is still Kamini. good. Okay, yeah. Anybody? Anybody? Uh, gee, I can even see a witch. Yeah. You can see a old lady? Yes. <laughs> okay, good. Anybody? Rahul Prabhu. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it is Seven Habits. I think that book also is that. I see a young lady with a white color uh, hair, uh, white color uh, covering of her uh, head, a white cloth. Fantastic. Okay, great. And uh, uh, let us see who are, who are all there. What do you see in this picture? What do you see in the picture? Tanviji, you have any point? I see a young lady as well. Thank you. So, young Kotawade. Yeah, Krishna Prabhu. Same thing, Prabhu. You are saying old lady, young lady? Young lady. Young lady, Prabhu. Amazing. Anybody, you know? Okay, fantastic. Uh, some people see old lady also. You know? Whom do you see? Young lady, yeah? Okay, good. Fantastic. So you want me to add my opinion? I could, never, I could never see young lady. Always old lady only. I, I could not even find out where is the young lady. So it is world is relative. You know, Chetan Pro, whom did you know, whom do you see? I think Prabhuji, <laughs> based on the kind of, I mean, like what kind of mindset we are in, maybe we are able to identify that kind of uh, picture over there. <laughs> Who is this? Lakshmi, yeah. Yeah. No, no, I don't know. So, uh, last time I saw this picture in Singapore train station, 20 years ago, you know. Uh, but that's good, you know. Uh, okay. Can you see this? Do you see a triangle there? Oh, yes. Yes. It is not there. Yes. Right? I can see a tree. Yeah, tree. Christmas tree. Okay, then. Can you, okay, whom do you see? can see two old couple and also two guys who one is playing music and one is keeping his hands on his head. Keeping his hands on his head. Yeah. yeah. And there is one more lady who is standing in the corner. I mean, like, I can see total the, five people. I can see, oh, there are a lot of pictures. Exactly. Oh, there are a lot of pictures, Guruji. <laughs> one is playing guitar now. Uh, one is keeping the head, one the one lady is in the ear. Uh, there are a lot of pictures, I think. There is a bottle as well. So, but can you see, you know, there are, but if you see one, one hand, you can see two, one old woman and old woman, old, old man. And other mm -hmm. side, you'll see one young, young, young woman and young man. Yeah, and, and there is a lady standing near the old man's ear. Right. <laughs> you know, but if you see properly, that is his ear, you know. Um, um, interesting, right? Okay. You see a wall in the ocean? 
or you see only uh, different ships standing in line yeah i can see ocean bridge uh, i can also view like different ships uh, in a line yeah yeah okay what are you seeing the dots are moving or not yeah yeah <laughs> Rolling, rolling. Yes, uh, the uh, roll. But that is not the happening, actually. This is what's called optical illusion. Sometimes people ask, can you show me God? First of all, we are living in such a, uh, our senses are so imperfect, uh, we tend to become illusioned. You know? So what about this? Are they, are they moving or not? Are they moving or not? they are not moving they are static no but focus on one then go to next one they are moving they so are moving they are moving exactly so can you imagine i'm showing you you are somewhere somebody in lakshmi ji in california you know but still you are able to you know uh, you are able to become illusioned hi uh, krishna Okay, uh, my first question to you: Who is the tallest? Who is the you know uh, shortest? All are same height. All are same height exactly, because they are standing at different distances. They are appearing like that, but they are of the same height. So this is called a optical illusion. Look at the dot for one minute, for some time, and then see the, you see the rings moving. Move your head back and forth. Focus I, on the. Ah yes, Guruji, I can see it is moving. But it is not happening actually. You know, it is just a picture. So the point is, uh, okay, this is ultimate. Huh? It is just a drawing. It's not a, you know, people. Will, you know, this is real on the road. How many of you have seen the picture? Can you see the picture on the road? It's just a drawing, three D drawing. Everyone is watching or not? Yeah, we are able to. It's just a three D drawing. That's it. Okay. You know, don't don't you get a feeling? You know, you'll fall in that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I have video. One minute. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Can you see? Are you able to see? Oh, one minute, sorry, sorry. The same image. No, 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 no. I'm changing. Can you see that? Oh yes. Yes. It's all drying, actually. Got it? Yes, Kuruji. So these are all uh, optical illusions. They are just uh, a simple painting, and there is no water on the road. You know, it's just a road, main road actually. This is main road. Amazing, right?
Okay. So, just give me one minute. So my point to you, we put so much faith on our eyes, but because of the imperfect senses, we tend to come mistake. Uh, uh, we become illusioned, and we tend. To, third one is uh, we commit mistakes. Wildly incorrect accounts in the research. Initially, they thought brain was thought of as an organ to cool blood. Pituitary and master glands. They thought initially it's useless. Hare Krishna. You know they call Hubble constant, right? It is changed so many times, not three times, more than that actually. Is it Hubble variable or Hubble constant? You know <laughs> that is used to measure astronomical distances actually. I know we put small mistakes can lead to large disasters. Okay, you know we were talking about uh, uh, we were talking about uh, Darwin theory. You know, uh, Darwin said man came from monkey, right? But there is no proof. So the entire scientific world was split up into two. People supporting Darwin theory, pro-Darwinists. People scientists against Darwin theory, uh, neo-Darwinists. You know, I mean, sorry, anti-Darwinists. But then what happened? Uh, then what happened? Uh, finally, there was a burden on the scientists who were supporting Darwin theory. And where happened? Where did it happen? That uh, where is the place? Where the first monkey became a man, right? So one day, what happened in 1912 in British Isle? One scientist said, I, I found out this is the place where first monkey chimpanzee became a human being. You know, this is added, it became like this in natural evolution, and he presented, you know. A skull and a jaw. Jaw is looking like chimpanzee jaw. Skull like a human skull, and the thigh bones. You know. And uh, then he presented it to the scientific world and agreed. Agreed. Are all man came from monkey? Darwin theory is proved. But 1945, X-rays came into picture. You know. Madame Curie, she discovered radioactivity and drawing gen. He found out X-rays. Then what he did, one guy got it out. And what he did, he exposed this this skull to the X-rays, and you can't even believe. This gentleman, what he did, he took a human skull and a jaw, chimpanzee jaw, he wired it and he filed it to make the world believe. Man came from monkey, Hare Krishna. This is called the biggest fraud of science. If you go to London Museum, this is there. You're listening? Yeah. yeah. You know, for example, if I say Bhagavad Gita is telling uh, religion, Newton said, oh, yeah, yeah. Now, my, my, my friend, good friend, you know, he's senior to me also. He's from IIT Bombay. You know, he told me one day, you know, what is the acceleration due to gravity is 9.84, right? So his friend in IIT Bombay, he did research and went to professor and said, sir, it is not 9.84. I did perfect research. It is 9.92. Professor said, kya Newton se bada ho gaya You became bigger than Newton? Bring it to 9.88. Then I'll give you full marks. Today, we have more faith on scientists than the actual experiment. All right, Krishna. Right? So, till this day, let me tell you, you know, um, then what happened? 
I have to finish this story. I forgot to tell you. Then this fraud was found out. At the scientific community, whoever opposed Darwin theory, there was a big uproar. Cheating, 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 cheating. Then 19, uh, then what happened? The meeting was called to discuss this. And in, in a hotel in America, all the some people, scientists supporting Darwin theory, they stayed on the top floor. On the scientists who were against Darwin theory, they stayed in the bottom floor. So one day before they came, but in the middle of the night, they woke up and started beating each other and started breaking the chairs for the safety and security of the chairs and tables of the hotel. They postponed that meeting. Until this day, 2020, that meeting has, meeting has not happened to resolve this issue. But this skull was kept in a London museum as the biggest fraud of the science and the biggest cheating of the science. <laughs> so my point to you, because we have the cheating propensity, frauds not only happen in the stock market, it happens everywhere. You know? Uh, I want to show one more video. Evolutionists go so far in this subject that they can even invent very different faces. What's the evidence? go so far in this subject that they can even invent very different faces for the same skull. The three entirely different reconstructions made for the fossil calls in Xanthropus is a famous example showing how persistent evolutionists are in producing these false masks. Another intermediate transitional form fabricated by evolutionists was the Nebraska man. This was cooked up in 1922 on the basis of a single fossil tube. The evolutionists did not neglect to give it an ostentatious Latin name, Asparopithecus, Harold Cooka, or to make imaginary drawings related to it. It was soon revealed that the tooth that had been the source of inspiration for Nebraska man, in fact, belonged to a wild pig. Many other fossil skulls have been presented as great evidence for evolution, failed one by one. Neanderthal man was advanced as evidence in 1856, dismissed in 1960. Piltdown man was advanced as evidence in 1912, dismissed in 1953. Zenzantropus was advanced as evidence in 1959, dismissed in 1960. Ramapithecus was advanced as evidence in 1964, dismissed in 1979. My point is, scientists are trying to prove uh, Darwin theory and presenting so many so many false evidences, but they're cheap, they are dismissed. Why? We have that cheating propensity in us. And I try to prove to the world, uh, I am uh, more intelligent and qualified than what I am, probably more pure than what I am. That is cheating. And that propensity is there in every one of us. You know? How many of you understood? Any comments before we go forward? Huh? Rahul ji? So, but, but uh, I see a lot of similarities between me and the monkey. I mean, us and humans and monkey. I have a question for you. Why monkeys are still there on the branches and why some monkeys have come to the schools and they have evolved? <laughs> that's a good question, yeah. But they are our brothers. I mean, that, that's what I feel. They are linked to us. Yeah. 
okay everyone is linked to everyone let me tell you you know uh, the, you know bhagavad gita there is a verse vidya vinaya sampane brahmani gavasti gavi hastini sunise suniche subhaga cha pandita sandarsana the the element behind every every animal is soul that way we are all brothers and sisters you know um, the true spiritualist would call uh, even animals brothers why indians are vegetarians most of the indians you know in the ancient times everyone because uh, you see the divinity you see soul in every animal in every species you respect you know so when you see spirit in everything you respect you know then you respect this is one of the wonderful verses of bhagavad gita that uh, uh, that establishes equality what is that a, a educated pandit he sees a dog and the dog eater and a very elevated advanced uh, pandit and uh, uh, vidya vinay sampanne brahman an elephant and dog dog eater and a qualified pandit he sees all of them equal it doesn't mean all are all of them are equal but uh, what if, what is equality the soul behind the same we'll see that in future sessions when it come to when it comes to who am i because of the karma somebody is in the dog body because of the karma somebody is in elephant body because of the karma somebody is in a dog eater body with bad imp- with, with impure uh, impurities in the heart but somebody is in a sage body very pure or purified the ele- element is same the behind this body is the element is same panchabhuta five uh, air water ether that is panchabhuta that is different but here atma the atma behind all this you know tiger is a body elephant is a body dog is a body cat is a body a human being is a body advanced human being is also a body but uh, the dweller the person living in this body means what a jacket like you know like covering clothes you know for soul body is a clothing so in the every soul is a yes we are equal souls homogeneous souls you know in the so what is that uh, some saints would call brother dog sister cat so i prove us that that is truly god conscious person you know you see god in everyone's heart in the beginning stage that's good you know doesn't mean god is there but the soul you know see so sorry god means sorry you see divinity that's the best best word to put it i'm sorry you see divine that divine element in everyone not seeing god everyone i'm sorry you see the divinity in everyone yes soul is divine because it is a it belongs to god there's a point so we all belong to god we are godly but we are not gods and we will see that you know now so you all agree the knowledge acquired by direct sense perception is not always right you understood that's what i'm trying to establish either i showed whether i showed you the pictures of illusion or the theories proposed by scientists what is that that's right that's right so everything is uh, so darwin theory or a big bang theory is not uh, 100% right as it was uh, forced upon us during our childhood exactly thank you darwin theory is remote that's what i told you big bang theory is remote darwin theory removed from the next state ohio so many states in america they removed it because there is no proof big bang theory is proved removed because uh, um, there is no proof so yeah let me tell you london ruled all over the world so we have that nature india indians you know we are ruled by london so okay they gave it us let us read but darwin is actually if you really analyze darwin theory darwin proves there is no god actually you know so you put a this mark or this mark and you go to exam and you prepare you write exam on darwin theory because you are interested in certificate but the really you know darwin is establishing if you analyze anyway that is not the subject matter of today but what is that you know india okay whatever i came from west it is right to let us take it but america is not like that 
you know americans okay you ask for proof it's not proved remove it so they know they have the guts americans have the guts because most no, of no. The, for the proof also we don't have the sufficient senses right to say whether it is right or wrong i mean even they are saying correct or wrong even with that limited senses we are saying it is correct or wrong even that is wrong i am saying i mean with all this what you have said today uh, we we are uh, very limited so the, the, that is the uh, uh, conclusion mm-hmm. exactly thank you so <clears throat> no at least it is the cheating propensity is proved proven it is proved that uh, they were trying to fabricate the evidence to impose some wrong theory on us that is proven by scientists only you know uh, so my conclusion is any knowledge you acquire directly through the senses is not always right that's what i want to do then the next one is research you know Uh, for example what you want to do acquire some knowledge about something what you do you do research you know uh, research means what hypo you know you start hypothesizing you know you take some theory you so you take some data and it is true for one it is true for two um for example you saw that elephant right uh, okay elephant uh, the person holding the tail he says uh, this is like a rope and then then you start doing research then with the rope you may be 10 mile long so where the pratyaksha ends and the research anuman starts anuman anuman means uh, hypothesizing you know yes work you know or uh, it may have been like this or perhaps like this you know actually i'll tell you one day i was present in the same session not knowing that there is a professor sitting in my class i told uh, darwin went everywhere all over the world and darwin proposed darwin theory i said and i present my class and i said any questions this gentleman raised his hand he is a professor you know he is a he is a professor he said for your kind of information darwin never traveled all over the world darwin went you know behind his home there is an island he went and he collected and uh he told me a lot about darwin i never knew he is doing a, he is studying in you know, darwin theory a lot then you know, i listen please read this can somebody read it call you can you read please i'm a firm believer that without speculation there is no good and original observation after five years work i allowed myself to speculate on the subject and drew up some short notes these end up in 1844 into sketch of conclusions which seem to be probable yes you know the word speculation means you know for us english is second language speculation means guess work you have to guess so the guess work doesn't work for science you cannot guess if you see the big bang theory also there is a lot of guessing guess doesn't work so what is telling he guessed a lot he thought speculation amar chitra ka the stories you can guess work works science and guess doesn't work because you have to prove okay this is what darwin's evolution theory how bear became a monstrous whale you know so can somebody read please in north america the black bear was seen swimming for hours with wide open mouth thus catching like a whale insects in water even in so extreme a case as this if the supply of insects were constant and if better adapted competitors did not already exist in the country i can see no difficulty in a race of bears by natural selection more and more aquatic in their structure and habits with larger and larger mouths till a creature was produced as monstrous as a whale okay you know what is telling so you are like this i know the picture is there bear is catching like this like this like this stretching 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 in the water one day bear will you know in that evolution that is a word and he used a second word natural selection so slowly 
where mouth will become sharper and sharper and sharper and in the legs will become smaller and smaller and one day there will become whale the two words natural selection and uh, uh, natural selection and evolution but for your kind of information bear is always there whale is always there lord ramchandra time also monkeys were there ramchandra was there 9 million years ago ramayana happened 9 million years ago right but that time monkeys were there ramchandra was lord yeah, humans were there so um bear would not become uh, so this is what is called a speculation less work you know for example you raise your head like this what is that a dog trying to like this like like this one day dog will become a giraffe you believe it any time dog giving birth to giraffe because the dog this area dogs are looking in the forward to catch the grapes because the dog is there giraffe is are there human beings and apes simultaneously existed millions of years ago they are taking the data, you know, data age of rock strata and years you know uh, if you go 2 million and 1.5 million 1 million 400000 100000 then only 40000 years ago he says man started evolving to become a, sorry my chimpanzee started evolving evolving started evolving to become human being but if you see rama in time you see humans were existing monkeys were existing so strong what is the problem with mistakes with making mistakes in research we pay a lot of price very simple you know water bottle you know okay buy a bottle throw you send throw you send throw and then they came to know okay all right very easy just you know start an industry it's a billion dollar industry but what is the problem they carry water in in a tra trucks under high temperatures like you know you like, you know a month ago one one day there was actually like 96 degrees 100 degrees in michigan but if the truck is coming from texas and this water gets boiled and uh, the carcinogenic particles of the plastic would enter into the bottles on one hand you are finding it easy we just buy you want drink water it's pure throw it no innocently you're throwing you know cancer causing agents into your body water the water stored in this little bottle turns poisonous today we are all addicted to cell phones it is damaged to brain If you keep it in the heart, you know. If you keep it in the shirt, the heart problem. You know. If you keep it in the pant pocket, impotency. If you keep it down, you'll have knee problems. Okay, for your kind information, I cannot hold my phone. I cannot even if it is important call, I will walk out. But I cannot put like this because less than one minute my ears start paining. I want to live a little longer. The only mistake I did, I used to do Bhagavad Gita calls on the phone, probably four hours a week, like this. I never knew this because of that. My body developed, uh, body became so sensitive. One day I thought, if I use phone like this, I'll die. Past three or four years, I'm holding only speaker. But you know what? You can see a case. I am holding like this. One day my hands start burning. Two days my hands burnt. So I call it my call my phone bo ghost. You know, uh, when cigarettes were invented, America every movies of 1940s and 50s, the hero became famous because the way he so he holds a cigarette. But nobody knew he died of uh, lip cancer and died of lung cancer. So. Uh, the researchers, it has side effects that is ignored. 
bubonic plague like corona what is uh, you know this bubonic plague came into the europe shook the europe for a very long time decades <clears throat> scientists said bubonic plague is coming from cats then what the what everyone did they, they killed all the cats the plague multiplied then they realized hey it is not the cats rats are promoting promoting this bubonic plague but uh, by this time already late because there were no cats to eat the rats bubonic plague multiplied you know trust me it corona was nothing you know america alone claimed 180000 lives right so far till no vaccine yet right but bubonic plague that much you know in the europe it became wild in 20 years 15 20 years of knowledge is dangerous if you see we find one solution uh, to one problem that solution will lead to another problem plastic wow so nice bisleri bottles but what is the problem today we have islands in pacific ocean all the oceans are plastic islands 1000 miles to go deep in the pacific ocean plastic islands they are actually harming so much they are harming nature like anything you know give an example to show how modern man solution to one problem leads to another bigger problem and ultimately deprives us of happiness anyone can does anyone have any example for that yes prabhu ji to increase the agricultural production they have invented some uh, the vegetables to be produced in a genetically modified uh, what do you call products gmos yeah yeah so now we are suffering because eating those genetically modified uh, fruits or vegetables it is causing a lot of changes in our body and we are ending up with different uh, cancers thank you very much madam okay i'll i'll add little more on that huh? um, 1992 world gulf war so this gmos were signed you know government gave permission everyone because the whole world was focusing on gulf war nobody cared in america practically all the senators signed for it and uh, uh then they started making you know genetically modified seeds uh they started breeding genetically modified brinjals wheat everything and uh, thank you my wonderful example by 2000 i mean in 10 years russia banned american food imports entire european union all the countries in europe they banned we are still america were still using it why they banned it whoever is eating they are getting mental problems but we are eating it is not banned in america can you imagine india they allowed you know american senators went to india to promote it and india took the brinjal so much uproar came in india no no don't take it what the brinjals were taken for that so when man meddles with nature 50% of mental problems america every second person has mental problem i mean you don't have any mental problem there is one person already suffering are krishna that is america so you want to you know you want to yes meddle with nature with your research it has such a re- serious this kind you know serious uh, re- uh, repercussions thank you ma very wonderful example any other example or we'll go forward should we go forward nice point man thought he can be happy without god if only he has money and comforts you know we want to have a beautiful you know palatial mansions you know um so that's what everyone knows movies are telling science is telling 
So American people are rich left and right. Dollar is 70 rupees. You know, but uh, what is today? Corona, we cannot even breathe. You know, eating is not wrong, but we don't know what to eat. Some people say man-made. Corona is man-made. I don't know how many of you believe. 1980, a novel came. 1980. I can send you, you know, I have the, all the images. This novel in America, written in America, he said, there is a place called Wuhan in China. And the Chinese scientists will come out with a virus called Wuhan 400. That will spread all over the world. Can you imagine where the corona started? Wuhan. Anyway, I am not here to talk uh, uh, whether it's man-made or uh, uh, nature-made. But truth is, uh, truth is, uh, we are all suffering. 4.35 lakh crores of money in India alone uh, was ruined, burnt off by stock market. And American stock market, world stock market. Eating is not a problem, but you should know what to eat. You get married and enjoying uh, say, uh, sex life is not a problem, but you should know whom to, you know. So if you remove my spirituality, every university has a motto. I was telling at the last other day, Wayne State University has a motto. Aim higher. Likewise, Vedic culture has a motto. What is that? Simple living and high thinking. Why did you come into existence? Today morning, afternoon, I was telling you know, Chetan Prabhu and his wife. I was asking Mataji, you have not taken the decision to come into this world. Right? Your parents have a desire, had a desire, but it was facilitated by nature. Who, who brought you into this world? For what? Purify the heart. Remove the impurities. And realize you are not the body but a spirit soul and lead a happy life. But what we are trying to do through the nature, through, I mean, we are trying to remove nature, we are trying to remove the, that mastermind, the God from the nature, we are trying to make ourselves happy. And guess what? One of California fires are going on, on one hand, there's a, you know, what is that, uh, hurricanes coming, another hand, and uh, we have corona, we are it's ravaging all over the world. Where are we going? The root cause is spirituality. You know, every river in America is polluted. 1992, federal government declared. You know, I've been living in America past 20 years. I have not seen one person taking a glass and dipping uh, in the river and drinking it. At least I used to take bath in all these rivers in India. You know, it's month of Karthik. I would go to different uh, uh, places and take a dip and come back. Krishna, Godavari, all. India, every river is polluted. Why? Our hearts are polluted. Natural pollution is not an ecological problem, spiritual problem. Today our hearts are polluted. Hearts are infested with ego, greed, anger, lust, pride. And we are not addressing it. We are going to bathroom every day to half an hour to clean the body. But my request to you, please come out and clean the heart. But if you believe God as a theoretical, as a uh, you know, reality, then only you'll take it as science. Like computer science, you'll take a spiritual, a spiritual science and you'll make an effort to clean your heart after coming out of bathroom. Do you agree? Otherwise, you'll think it is a sentiment. No, it is not sentiment. It is science. 190,000 people died. Not even one person knew January, February, March, in a month or two to come, there would be no more. They have so many desires. Why is that divinity is there in animals, even a tiny insect? You just go and take chase, the insect will start running. Understand that life is in danger. Wow, that insect has that much intelligence. And it'll try to hide. Divinity is there everywhere. It is dangerous to operate a machine. I have a question for all of you. Science has declared the 
the functioning science always explains the functioning of the universe i have a question for you what is the goal of the universe if you remain youthful 20 years till you could you know why there should be temperature always 75 only 75 degrees then we feel we find it good why in winter especially in michigan winters tough right i have a question for you do you know any machine that has uh, no meaning it is dangerous to operation machine with half knowledge similarly it is dangerous to manipulate the universal machine machine without knowing about it the creator who created it i have a, I have a video <laughs> so i have a question for all of you what is the function what is the goal of the universe goal of the universe is see the supreme creator and and purify your existence we'll see that next sessions we are not the body but a spirit soul because of the impurities we have come here the goal of human life is to cleanse the impurities then you'll attain unlimited happiness not that this universe has no means einstein calls this universe an orderly universe do you all agree you now this universe has no goal no means no value no it has what is the goal science doesn't the science has not explained but bhagavad gita does icha desha samuttena dwandva mohena bharata sarvabhutan sammoham sargiyanti parantapa we all have developed a desire to to be comfortable without the supreme lord krishna says in gita icha when that is not practical when we realize it is not possible dvesha we developed envy we are living in this world means we have flag of envy so goal of human life is to remove that you can be an engineer you can be a doctor you can be whatever you want to be but understand this as a spiritual sense and go forward so we'll end it here i don't want to waste time um where is the manual that can explain the operations of the cosmic machine can get it then you can have the key to happiness every manual when you call, when you buy a food processor 10 dollar grinder they give you a car manual when you buy a 20000 dollar car they give you a manual then there is a manual for everything that we are creating why is not there why isn't there a manual for us 206 bones blood flesh and marrow the body is much more complex than a car and there is bhagavad gita with dollar notes in pocket surrounded by luxuries and comforts all he found was only stress and depression where is happiness what will do we'll continue the session is a little big any question or comment we'll continue next week you know any question or comment any reflection you want to add anything
Uh, just uh, one thing. So uh, you are right. So that the whole uh, six things right, anger, lust. Uh, so if you don't do this one, we will be happy at least in this material world. So uh, in order to get that, uh, we have to detach from material things and uh, give our senses to uh, Lord. So if we if we place our senses on Lord, then uh, automatically all these senses will go away very easily without any hard work. If you think that all our senses are controlled by God and everyone is a soulful animal, automatically we don't even have to try. Automatically this uh, feelings of anger, greed, lust, uh, lust I don't know at least, anger, greed, uh, gluttony, everything will go. That's what I feel. It, 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 that's a very simple way to come out of this crisis. Your summarization is amazing. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. you are very shrewd. Any other question, any other reflection? Thank you. Any other reflection by uh, Kamini ji or uh, Lakshmi ji, Tanvi ji? You want to add anything or question or comment? Nothing, Guruji. I think uh, he answered everything, whatever we have. You put it nice way. Thank you. No, G, nothing. Thank you. Tanvi, Mother Tanvi. No, Guruji, thank you so much. Okay. Hare Krishna, Prabhu. This is Manish. Manish Kothavade. This is Manish Ji. Okay, but I. Comment question. So, but one thing is there, you know, we have, uh, we know ultimate goal of life is bhakti and uh, the biggest, biggest problem that we struggle with is uh, uh, how to gradually develop it into like, you know, goals of our lives step by step. Uh, even though I like, for example, I, I'm, I may have been associated with this con for a while now. I do 16 rounds chanting and everything. But what if you do not have like a, I'm not, um, what do you call it? I do not have like a guru yet. But if you do not have a guru, how do you basically focus it into like small goals? Like what do I need to do? So for example, right now, Purushottam mass is, mass is going on. So I would try to read chapter 15 every day and read Bhagavatam one page a day, something like that, uh, along with whatever I do regularly. But what what is the like goal? What like is is there somebody who can can tell like you know this is prescribed way for like engineer's life? This is prescribed way for a doctor's life based on your profession, something like that. I always struggle to find it. What will do the best thing you know? Uh, because you are little more advanced than all of us. Give me your number and that way, you know, we can we can talk. So what is your number? Uh, it's 740-866-6864. Uh, uh -huh. Well, great, because, you know, so the rest are all beginners and... Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, probably. So thank you. I, any other, thank you. Any other question or comment? I agree, you know, this is a... This, this month comes only once in three years. I know it's rare, but other people don't even know that. So this month is like, you know, yes, very fee, very uh, congenial for spirituality because of, the, you know, uh, the unlimited, uh, unlimited, what do you call it, mercy that is bestowed. You know, we, we can talk on it and on, on, on half note, we can do that. So I, if you know Chetan Prabhu, you want to add, and the Mataji wants to add anything, otherwise we'll end this call. Prabhuji, from our side, uh, no Prabhuji. Thank you, Prabhuji. Thanks a lot. Thank you. So we'll end it here, and we'll meet next week. And if I spoke anything wrong, do excuse me, other servant, but very grateful for a patient audience. Namaste. Thank you. I'm ending. Namaste. Namaste, Prabhuji.